so I could make this abomination. Czech international Antonin Rusek. Leon. As the great Gennaro Gattuso would say, we are. And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Our first game of January was against Monaco. Walking in on a four game streak without a win, we look to change that here. Make that a five game streak. Ten days later, we had Leo, and if we wanted to maintain our 8th place status, we really couldn't drop points here. So we decided that the best course of action was to concede in the first 5 minutes. Thankfully, Jeremy Ledouaron was able to equalize in the 58th minute, but we still only walked away with a 1-1 draw. Make that a 6 game winless streak. And that's when I decided I needed to make a change. Something clearly wasn't working and it's not the fault of the players. My goofy tactic wasn't working anymore. Clearly opposition managers had figured me out and so I made the switch to a more conventional formation. This is a 4 triple 2 It's our way of overloading opposing defenses with our numbers and attack while still maintaining a solid defensive shape. Our first game with the new formation went great with a 4-2 away win against Toulouse. Four different goal scorers in Antonin Rusek, Brendan Chardonnay, Albert Ellis, and Romain Del Castillo. Let's take a quick look at the French Cup draw. After struggling to a penalty win over 3rd Division Concarneau, everyone at the club is really hoping for an easier fixture in the next round. Oh, well that's less than ideal. At least we can focus all our attention on the league now. Speaking of which, we again failed to win a single time in our next three games, only salvaging a 1-1 draw with relegation threatened Angers and losing 2-0 to both Lyon and Lens. On deadline day of the January window, we sold another of our center backs to Lille, reinvesting that money in two signings. First was Leo Lorero from the fourth tier of Brazilian football for $95,000. He immediately went back out on loan to his previous club for the rest of the season. Second was a replacement center back in Adamo Nogalo from New Zealand on a deal for $7.5 million, potentially rising to $8.75 million. And the window slams shut! Back in the league, we were able to bounce back with a huge 5-0 result away at Montpellier. Nothing seemed to go wrong for us in that game, except that. At least we're still in 8th place. Following that, we had 4th place Monaco, and without one of our star players, I was feeling a little nervous. But an Ellie's goal and a Monaco own goal gave us a 2-1 win despite Ben Yedder's goal for Monaco. Our final match of February had us come out 4-2 losers against Lille, who started the two center backs we sold them. We only had three games to play in March due to international breaks. Our first was against Strasbourg, and after just 26 minutes we were up 2-0. Unfortunately though, we turned into prime arsenal and threw away our two goal lead to lose 3-2. Oh look, Nuno Marrera is back from injury, and he's going to be available for the PSG match. The next day. And he's injured again. PSG at home, waiting to be absolutely annihilated by the final boss of French football. Well, that was surprisingly easy. This was also the match where Antonin Rusek officially dislodged Mounier from the starting 11 after scoring both in this historic win. Finally, we had Troy. Away from home, we thrashed them 4-0 with four different goal scorers. And guess what? We're still in 8th place. For those of you who don't know, every year in March, teams across the world get intakes of youth players from their academies. This is to help replenish players who've retired in-game. This year, our intake was average, according to staff members, but only two players were realistically good enough to sign. First was left-footed striker-slash-winger Guillaume Nguesson, and the second was six-foot-three defensive midfielder Albert Vallée. Back to the league and we lost our next three games, all of them 2-1 against Toulouse, Reims, and Nice. Thankfully though, we were able to bounce back and beat Ajaccio 3-2 with a 73rd minute winner from Laduaro, who's really starting to provide competition for Franck Honorat in the right wing spot. A 2-2 draw with relegation threatened Nantes followed and once again we threw away a two goal lead. May was rocky to say the least. Two wins against Auger and Clermont were sandwiched by a 4-2 loss away at Lorient and a 3-0 loss away to Marseille. And look, Nuno Marrera made it through a few games without getting in. Really? <laughs> really? Anyway, a little update on our squad. Loni Bradley Loco is leaving at the end of the season to sign for Avra AC in Ligue 2. Also, both of our backup goalkeepers are leaving at the end of the season. Joaquin Blazquez at the end of his loan move and Gregoire Couder at the end of his contract with the club. Knowing this, I had to go out and sign a backup for next season. So we picked up Bulgarian shot stopper Svetoslav Vutsov from Slavia Sofia for less than a candy bar. 
Our final league match of the season ended in a 2-1 loss to Ren after Lovro Mayer scored directly from the kickoff after Ruzek's equalizer. Our final league position is... You guessed it, 11th. Three of our players managed to score 11 goals this season, but in order to reach the upper echelons of the league next year, we're going to need to score a lot more than that. And for finishing 11th, we'll get $4.75 million. Can't wait to see our budget for the next season. We're still broke.